This isn't going to be a long lesson, but again, diving into the whole John Bonham, his influence on rock and roll, and some things that he kind of just went to and things that he did. Uh, there's a single kick triplet pattern that he did in tons of their recordings. <laughs> It's one of his like stamps that lets you know like I'm here, here I'm at the party and I'm gonna be in your face the whole night and and he may even play a just a regular groove the whole time and then just throw that in there as kind of like you know sign John like here I am it's, you know so it's one of those things that is it's very telltale that uh, if you can't tell from the first couple of notes that it's him playing uh, and it's a relatively simple thing to do it's just a matter of working on it and getting it up to speed so uh, if you haven't checked out the other John Bonham uh, lessons you should do that top grooves top drum fills top intros several of the songs are broken down I'll link all of those below as well I'll give you the sheet music to what I do in this lesson you can find that at the in a pinned comment below this video or in the video description so go check out all of that stuff and kind of go down the uh, John Bonham wormhole all right so let's look at what's happening and, it, and it's a very simple triplet lick that he does uh, with the kick drum where the hi-hat plays one note and the kick drum plays the other two triplets so here's what's going to happen Now, with that, you can play uh, any number of you know, techniques, heel up, heel down. For me, it's easier with constant release or heel toe, uh, one of those methods. You can use the slide method, but uh, that's essentially what he's doing. And then it's just a matter of counting those eighth notes, one and two and three. getting that stamina there and then getting it to where we can throw it anywhere we want. So a little exercise that you can use to do that is start with each eighth note on the measure and just run it through until you can do that. So we would start with the triplet pattern on the first eighth note, then move it to the second. And we're moving that along what's called its grid. That's a, it's a term for a marching band and drum lines. You move an accent along its grid. If you're working on a paradiddle, that means you move it to every logical place that it could go in a logical order. And so we're going to move this along its eighth note grid. So first we'll play it on the first eighth note. Three and four and one. Then move it to the second eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and then beat two. One and two and three and four and one and two and the end of two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Three. And of three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then the and of four. One and two and three and four and one and two three four and. And then I would recommend being able to play it on every eighth note just kind of for stamina. And then begin to take it and throw it in in groups of two and groups of three. So.
So you begin to throw it in there, move it around in groups of two and three and four, and just have fun with it. So that's a really simple kind of takeaway, classic John Bonham lick that he throws into a ton of grooves. Use it tastefully, obviously, you know, but it's a lot of fun if you're playing and you're playing a groove like this. So a lot of different things that can be done with that. Be sure and go check out all of the other lessons. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this series, this Bonham series. Again, there's the drum grooves, there's the drum fills, there's the drum intros, ton of songs broken down. So go down the wormhole. All those links are below as well as the sheet music for what I break out in this lesson that's in the description and in the comment section of pinned comment. If you want to check out the Drum Better Daily program, if you're looking for a comprehensive program uh, to help you get better at the drums, that's exactly what it's built for. It's catered to your needs, and it is a specific program that works you through step-by-step -step what you need to do as well. If you're a complete beginner, it's a great place to start. I've got the Warrior Way, and that's going to be all you need for the first couple of years of drumming. It's going to show you exactly what to do. So you can follow the link to the website and uh, check that out. Hit the thumbs up button if this has helped you. Share it with somebody you think it may help. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because there's new content coming all the time. Ding that bell, and what that does is that gives you notifications. So I've been going live a lot with unboxings. I've been going live with different things I'm doing in the studio, crazy simple stuff. Uh, and I love hanging with you guys, and you'll get notified when that happens, as well as whenever I upload a new video. But whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next video.